just a quick one folks this one I've ordered some seeds to top up my supplies for next year so I thought we'd just go through some of them and then I have another one to open up which is from another lady I'll mention that one in a minute right. these ones first of all these are all from Premier Seeds Premier Seeds Direct so just go through, that's the extra that I had to order because I forgot it. Put that one there. Alright, just run through each one that's in here. Um, we've got squash, yellow bush, scallop, which are the little, I suppose you could call them little flying sorcery type, um, courgette type things. More of a summer squash, but they're very nice. I have actually got another one... Is that done? No, that's not done. No. 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 Yeah. And that's the white bush scallop. So that's the white version. So it's the white and the yellows on them. So we've got those two. We've got courgette. Um, Stratio di Italia. I'm trying to remember what shape that one is. I think if I'm getting it the right way around, it's a, a standard length sort of courgette, but it's more ribbed down the side. So I'll have to see on that one. Runner bean lady die. Climbing French bean blue lake. They were very nice this year. Hopefully I'll get a better crop next year if I can keep a bit more of an eye on them. Um, courgette green bush. So they're a standard green courgette but they're more of a bush form than a trailer. Um, courgette Romanesco. If I remember rightly they're more of a pale colour. Um, we have Ishikuri squash which are <clears throat> to grow these small ones they come up in all different sizes but very good for small sort of size ones i'll give a little picture of them in a bit but they what my lad harvested for me from outside today that was the last of them so that's the yishi curry uh, butternut squash, which everybody knows. We've got uh, Sweet Corn, Rising Sun F1. Cucumber, Early Spring Burpless F1. And then we have Shallot Seeds, um, Zibrune. Onion Seeds, Globo. And then the other ones that I've, I'd forgotten to order before were the Elsa Craig prize winner. This year, well, next year, I won't be growing any onion sets. I'm not going to grow sets anymore. I'm going to stick with the um, seeds from now on. Last year, sort of experiment, again, this year. Um, it worked out that the ones I grew from seed stayed a lot firmer. The quality of the onion itself was a lot better um, and a lot less of them bolted. I have probably, out of all the ones from seed, I've probably only had half a dozen maybe that bolted and went to seed. Whereas the ones I grew from sets, I lost a lot of them for bolting. So that's the reason for those ones. Now, obviously, those of you that know, Globo and Elsa Craig are both big varieties of onions so I'm having a go at growing some huge ones this year so hopefully that'll work all right this one here I um I'm on a few of the chili websites and groups and all that lot on Facebook I got talking with this lady Jean Rogers and she grows a load of chilies so I've ordered some seeds but rather than picking ones I've done a surprise thing with it so you're going to find out what I've got the same time as I do so 
чтобы Again, some of these I'm not going to have ever heard of, but we'll go from there. So we've got the Naga Twister, black and multicolour. I have to look on that one. Vampire, Dorset Naga, we know that one. The Chocolate Reaper. Oh, purple UFO. Armageddon, these were a few of the Armageddon seeds that she would mentioned to me, so we knew them ones were coming. Um, but Jolka Orange, Calico, Seven Pot Yellow, Ooh, Ominous, Ring of Fire, Sugar Rust Peach, Turkish Snake, definitely got to have a look on that one. Komodo Dragon, Yellow Crystal, Sugar Rush Stripey, there we go, Carolina Reaper, and last but not least, I, I specifically had asked for these ones, because these were the first chilies I ever grew, um, Big Jim Chili Peppers, grow a nice sized fruit, medium heat, but no, nah, they, they were a very fun plant. So that's all of the ones she sent. So that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So there's seventeen different varieties of seed. I'm not going to mention the price because obviously that's down to anybody else if they want to order some. I will put a link to her Facebook selling page. But if you want to go on there and maybe get some, for what I paid her, that's very good. Um, let's say so, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try and get old of something to build a, a chili house for next season. But we'll have to wait and see how that one goes. But other than that, these will all be going into my little tub with my other bits. The other squash that he harvested for me earlier on were these. Turks turbans. I've already got a load of seeds for these ones, which I'll be planting again for next season. But that's why I didn't order any more, so I've still got some left. But there's some of them that have come out really nicely. So one of the things you can do with them is to cut the cap part off, hollow out all the seeds, fill it up with some, say, minced beef and onions or even steak and kidney, something like that. Put the lid back on, put it back in the oven and cook it down and then section it up. Or again, soup. But, right, that's it for this time. The next one which should come out after this, I'm going to carry on doing some of the chilli sauces it'll be the ones from the vacuum packing. So I've actually got the bottles in the dishwasher at the moment, getting cleaned up and all that lot, getting ready for doing it. So, see you shortly.